What's going on, world? It's your boy, Kuya P, and my pal, Webster Style, to give you another infamous trailer reaction. Webster Style, brother, I know you love comic books, like I do, as you see. Yep. As you see. You know. <laughs> uh, we know all about comic books and, and finding those grails and having a ton of long boxes. And some people um, like to go and put their stuff when they don't have the place. Uh, they go to a storage locker. They save it there. Mm -hmm. And uh, with that being said, I know I fall in love with watching stuff like Storage Wars, where right. you find these people that forget about their shit. They sell it well, and people bid on these storage lockers. So it's kind of like another hybrid of that nerd love. But then also kind of like a nightmare as a nerd, too. Like if you couldn't pay for your shit, somebody else is buying it for pennies and they got your grails and all of that. So that all being said, uh, when I saw this trailer for this film, that's uh, actually of this recording dropping this week, I was like, oh my goodness, comic book collecting, storage lockers. This might be something, you know, hmm. inter interesting for me. And I thought with you being a nerd fan as well, might be intrigue you as well. So I was like, let's do this as a trailer react. Uh, Cause it's what we do here on the channel anyway. Uh, it's called Storage Locker, film dropping uh, as of this recording this week. You want to check it out? Yeah, let's go for it. All right, here we go. Storage Locker, y'all. Okay. It feels like a horror movie. It does. Yeah. Maybe it is. There's a gun in his pocket. <laughs> okay, very independent. Looks like it's... What the hell? <laughs> you crazy! I'm gonna kill you! I'm gonna kill you! So, you got a couple shots and you didn't do get it done, so. Is this an all for a comic book, bro? Help me! Uh, Help me! Oh, so this trailer really didn't give us much of anything. Okay. Um, Interesting. Definitely looks like a downright horror film. Let me read you what, what I had read and why, why it intrigued me so. Okay. Um, so it, it's going to be available on Amazon, iTunes, all the things. Uh, as of this recording, it, it's August 21st. It's going to be on everything on August 22nd, uh, Tuesday. Um, the plot, uh, Eldon, is comic book collector Packer Stanley falls for two beautiful sisters, Apollonia and Diana Leto. Um that's probably why he they're scary. They're related to Jared Leto, maybe. Um, <laughs> run a massive underground storage facility. Wannabe witch Apollonia has resurrected her dead father and a demonic boy and uses him to eliminate certain members of their secret society of rarities collectors. Packer seeks the holy grail of comics, the first appearance of the spider, and is lured into the storage locker maze. There he faces off with the, with the mutating demon to win his grand prize. Interesting. I had only known the first line. Actually, I didn't. The the the, the part that I saw that grabbed me was that first sentence. Comic book right. packer collector Packer Santa falls for two beautiful girls who run a massive underground store. I was like, okay, that's what grabbed me, and it's called story. Like, oh, okay. And now the rest of this is like even crazier. Like horror really elements, crazy. dead fathers. He's looking for it. Uh, the first appearance. Was, uh, okay, so that's a super nerd right there. But that that was wild. Yeah. Um, and the trailer tells you nothing about And it didn't give us anything like that, too. Yeah. So, which we've talked about trailers, don't giving too much away. Um, but I know for like something. a comic nerd, that really didn't grab me is that aspect only because it, well, it gave me the line in that. But then when you watch the trailer, it doesn't give any comic book vibes. Right. It just seems like a straight up horror movie with set in storage locker thing. Yeah, exactly. But interesting. Like, yeah, they should have gave him more motivation. Hey, I want to get this and then flip yeah. it on it. Have people feel like it's a co comedy, right? You know, or yeah. something different. And then, oh no, it's horror. You know, give more of that. So I don't know. I'm kind of blase now on this trailer. I was kind of hype, right. but it just took all the wind on my sails. Well, how about you, bro? Yeah, it's the trailer 
doesn't give a lot to really be interested in. It 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 looks like any other yeah. independent horror film. And, it, and there's no disrespect, but they all trailer wise have sort of a same formula. You know, we we've watched and reacted to enough over the past year or so. It's like there's a formula that they use and this really tells nothing about the story. Yeah. It it doesn't give you much really to sink your teeth into the one to taste it. Yeah. I think it uh, it would have been benefited with a different cut. Like like yeah. kind of say flip it on them. And the, cuz it's you know with that being said, we've seen a lot of independent horror, but there's some good ones, you know, they yeah, yeah. they're in the mix. It's just how you cut it and present it cuz also you want to be different and you also don't want to give things away. Th th those are the fine lines you have to walk right. as an editor and uh, you know, production team behind a project that you're trying to promote to just create that buzz cuz like they got right. me with the line until i saw the trailer and yeah, then the description like, got you more so than the trailer so produce at all it yeah. was yeah it didn't became blase so editors take notes my fellow filmmakers that you know watch this channel <laughs> make note of that do better so uh there you go storage locker as of this recording it'll already be out uh, if you're checking it out let me know if it's something that we should check out i, I want to know you, you got me by the write-up, but now, nah, I don't know if I'm going to peep this one. All right. Well, yeah. website, if they want to hit you up and talk about it, uh, all things Storage Locker, how can they reach out to you, bro? Uh, you can reach out to me on social, Instagram and Twitter, at Webster Style, TikTok underscore Webster Style, and then anything and everything you want is Webster Style can be found at WebsterStyle.com. There you go. Hit up my brother, Webster Style. And for me, it's the legend Kuya P, Twitter, TikTok, IG, hi, Blue Sky. And of course, here with Webster Style and the whole squad at the NRW and Annalise Wednesday, where nerds rule the world. Those are our thoughts on Storage Locker. Let us know if you're checking it out in the comments below. And how far would you go for a comic book Webster Style? Would you go into a Storage Locker and see some crazy women down the corner? I I'm Nah, bro. Peace out. No. Right? No. <laughs> Hell no. Nah, son. <laughs> we're out y'all like that that's what we do as soon as you come out crazy like that we out mm -mm. ain't playing games